Write an equation for a line perpendicular to h of t is equal to negative 2t plus 4 and passing through the point negative 4 comma negative 1. All right. So first thing is we have to create a new equation of a new line that is perpendicular to this line. So remember that this particular notation here, whenever they say h of t, f of x, it doesn't matter what it is, you can just simply call that y. It might make it a little easier to view. So I can rewrite that as y is equal to negative 2t plus 4. Now notice that this has the form of a linear line, meaning it follows the form y equals mx plus b. So what's the slope of the line? What's the slope of this line? Well, remember the slope is known as m, and that matches up to negative 2. Okay, so the slope of the given equation here in the problem is indeed negative 2. Now, I have to create a new equation, meaning it has to follow the form, it's a linear line, it has to follow the form mx plus b. And this particular line that I create has to have, or has to be, perpendicular to the given equation. So remember, the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals or opposite reciprocals of one another. What that means is that if you know the slope of this line, it's negative two. What is the opposite or negative reciprocal then of two? Remember that you can basically rewrite this as negative two over one, and the opposite reciprocal then will be positive one over two. Flip the sign and flip the fraction. That's it. That's what it means to be negative or opposite reciprocal. So I now know the slope of this particular line, this new line, right? So it's going to be equal to, uh, so y is equal to then 1 half, positive 1 half x plus now b. All right. Now, what part is still missing? Well, in order to define an equation, we need to know, remember, two things. We need to know what the slope of that line is, and we need to know the y-intercept. Okay, just like this given equation, right? We knew the slope and we knew the y-intercept. So the question now becomes, well, the last piece is, what's the y-intercept? How do I find that? Well, remember, they gave us now another piece of information. They said that this new line, this new equation, must pass through the point negative 4 comma negative 1. And remember, in this equation, the y and x represent any point along the line. Right, for example, if you had this particular line, making it up, by the way, and I chose this particular point, right? Let's say this equation, this line had, a, had an equation of, a, a, I don't know, x minus 3. Then whatever this point is, whatever the coordinates of that point would be, um, you know, that would have a value, you know, well, I'd have to, <laughs> I would have to make it work out. So let's see, can I make this work out? So let's say that point has a value of 4 comma 1, Okay. Remember, this is the x, and that's the y. So if I were to take 4 and plug it in for x, it would be then y is equal to 4 minus 3, and that would be 1, right? 1 is equal to 1, and notice that was also the y-coordinate there. So anytime you know a coordinate, what I'm trying to say is anytime you know a coordinate, you know the x and you know the y values, and they go into and are part of the equation. Okay? Now... This wasn't the actual point that was given. This was the point that was given. So those are the values that we're going to then plug into our equation. All right, so let's just get rid of this. Let's do a little cleaning up here. And now simply plug in those x and y values. So the y value here of that coordinate is gonna be a negative one equals then one half multiplied by the x, which is negative four, plus then b. We love this because there's only one unknown. We can solve for that now. So that's going to be negative 1 is going to then be equal to 1 half of negative 4 is basically a negative 2 plus b. Add the 2 on over to the left-hand side, and we realize now that a negative 1 plus 2 is going to be a positive 1. And that's what b is. Now, we got everything we need. So now we can finally write the equation. So the equation of that new line will be y is equal to 1 half x plus 1. Voila. All right, so let's take a look at a second example now, and let's see how fast we can do it. So it says write an equation for a line perpendicular up, 
opposite reciprocal slopes, to the equation blah, and passing through the point blah. Okay, so let's write out blah. Let's write it with y instead, though. So it's going to be equal to 3t plus 4. Our new line has to then be perpendicular. So we know that the slope here, if it's 3, the slope then of our new line, since it has to be perpendicular, must then be an opposite reciprocal or a negative reciprocal. So if this is positive, this becomes negative. If this is 3, remember 3 is the same thing as saying 3 over 1, then this part will become 1 over 3. It's literally that simple. Okay, so negative 1 over 3 times t plus then our y-intercept b. Now remember, how do we figure out the y-intercept? Well, they told us a point on that new line. Uh, excuse me, they told us a point uh, on that new line. So on this line, the equation of that line, we know a point. We know the x and the y values. So guess what we're going to do? Simply plug them on into the formula. So the y value is going to be 1 negative one-third times then our, well, this is, I said x and this is t. Uh, th th this is really t here, okay? Because t is like the x, right? This, this has the form y equals mx plus b, right? The t is just the unknown. So it doesn't matter if you call it tx, whatever the case is, just as long as you plug it in right. So the 3 here will get plugged in for t plus then our uh, and then plus our y-intercept, which we don't know. We love this because we can solve, so now let's just do it. So it's going to be 1 is equal to negative one-third of 3, works out to be negative 1 plus b. Add the 1 on over to the left-hand side, and voila, we realize that the y-intercept is 2. Put it all together now. So y is equal to negative one-third t plus 2. And there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please subscribe and hit that like button. It means so much to us. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.